Hello everyone and welcome to another edition of New Tech Tuesday Tutorials. My name is Richard Evans and today I want to show you how to manage your macros. Now in previous videos I've shown how you can use macros to simplify your workflow simply by automating actions on your TriCaster and then just playing those back with just a touch of a button. Now to manage your macros, that is a way for you to either move them over to another TriCaster or to back them up for later use, etc. So let's dive in and take a look. All right, so here we are in the TriCaster TC1 interface and the first thing that I wanna show you is where you can find your macros. So let's go to the top left of the screen and hover our mouse over where our session name is. And then you're gonna have your options show up, file, options, macros, and workspaces. So we'll click on macros and configure macros. And in this window on the left, you're gonna see that we have uh, different folders in here. And if you're just loading up a TriCaster for the first time, the only folder that you're gonna see in here is gonna be system commands. And then on the right is where you're gonna have all these different macros to choose from uh, by default on the system. Now these are just basically some uh, simple um, different commands on the TriCaster macros for you to load and just take a look at, play around with, etc. Now the next thing that I wanna show you is where the system commands macros are gonna be located. All right, so the file path for these, let me go ahead and click export here real quick just to open up a window. So by default, these system macros are going to live on your C drive and we're gonna dig a little bit for those. We're gonna go into program data New Tech, TriCaster, Configuration, and Macros. And then you'll see here, system underscore macros dot xdm. Those are the macros that we want to, uh, that we have by default for us to use. Now just keep that file path in mind because the next thing that I wanna show you is if you create a brand new folder, and create your own uh, uh, different uh, macros from here, they're going to live in that exact same file path uh, by default. So we'll just say a uh, new folder, all right? And I'm going to create a macro here real quick. And we're gonna say new macro. And this is just gonna say my program and preview swap, all right? Let me click record. And now I'm just going to swap back and forth between my program and preview row, okay? That's all that's gonna be. We'll hit stop. Now let's say that we want to back up this particular macro. Now by default, like I said, I have this in my new folder, but it's gonna be saved to that program data file folder uh, that, that we had for these system macros. So I'm gonna make a completely new folder here, which is just gonna call recovery. So uh, this is gonna be recovering all of the different macros that way every session can see these. So let's go ahead and click import. And again, we'll go to C, program data, new tech, TriCaster, configuration, macros, click on that. Boom, and then we'll load all of those in there. And then you'll see all of those different macros that I had uh, available to me, uh, along with this program preview swap and a few other macros that I've set up uh, previously. Now, the next thing that I wanna show you is our session macros. So the session macros are going to live within the session itself. So if you went and went to a completely different session uh, altogether, you'd have to dig and find these uh, as opposed to just being able to click on these and bring them up by default. So let me go ahead and make a new macro here. We're gonna call that lower third example. Boom. And let me click record. And I'm just gonna have my lower third show up. Hello, I'm a macro, nice to meet you. All right, get out of here, cool. And then we'll hit stop and let me play that back real quick just so you see how it works. Da -da. Hello, I'm a macro and get that out of there. All right, very simple macro. Now what's cool about this is I can either uh, export macros individually or the entire folder. So let's go ahead and I'm gonna say lower third example. Let me right click on that and export it. And by default, these ones are going to be the, the session folders are going to be stored under your D drive, sessions, and then the session name. So you'll see here at the bottom, session.xdm, that's going to inhabit all of the different macros that I save to that particular folder on the macro side of things. All right. But uh, for this one, I'm going to just save out the file name, lower third example, 
just this macro, not all of them, okay? So now let me go back over to my new folder here where I have my program preview swap, and I'm gonna say import, and I don't wanna import all of those macros, I just wanna go and find the one that I just created. So let's go to D, sessions, and then find my session name, which is Tuesday Tutorial here at the bottom, click on that. And now you'll see that there's my lower third example, click on that, open it up, boom. And now I have all of those from here. Now uh, let's say that I want to say uh, export the entire um, library for me to use uh, later on. What I can do is I'll go into, uh, I have another uh, folder in here called demo macros, which are a bunch of different macros that I've uh, saved for later use. So from here, what I want to do is I'm going to say demo macros and I click not on the individual macros on the right, but the folder here on the left. So I'm going to right click on that and let's say export it. And now I can save this wherever I want. So uh, from here, let me just put it on the main D drive just for an example. Now, if you're using premium access, you can save your macros as a spreadsheet file, which you can open up in Excel and manage later on, uh, or you can save them just as a regular uh, XD macros, which is what I'm going to use in this particular example. Okay? So let's say uh, file name, demo macros, and I'm going to just call this export so that we know that it's different. Click save on that, and that's just going to be to our D drive. So now I can go into my what folder I want to bring it down. Let's go into my new folder here. So now I have uh, these uh, two macros that I've brought in from various other uh, sources. Click on import. Now let's find that export file. So I'm going to go to D, which is where I saved it. Right here at the bottom, demo macros export. I'm going to click on that. Boom. Now it's going to bring all of those different macros from that folder here on the left into my session. So you can either export macros individually, but honestly, it's a better practice to back up the entire folder so that you have everything under the sun. So as you can see, this is a good method of backing up your macros for later use or using them in another TriCaster altogether. Now, if you like this demonstration but want a little bit more, make sure you go to newtech.com slash demo for a free personalized demonstration of our TriCaster systems hosted by yours truly. Also, be sure to tag us and follow us on Instagram. And for more videos like this, subscribe to our YouTube page and our Facebook pages as well. Thank you for watching, and be sure to tune in next time for another edition of New Tech Tuesday Tutorials.